Defense contractor based right here in the Wiregrass is waiting to hear how President Biden's economic sanctions will affect his company's business in Eastern Europe. WGHN's Mike Spann says the home office of Navigator International is located in downtown Enterprise, but has personnel based around the world. At Wednesday's Enterprise Chamber of Commerce Military Affairs Committee breakfast, its chairman, Bill Baker, discussed the importance of active and retired military with the city. Baker is also vice president of government services on Navigators International. The defense contractor specializes in the construction of embassies and consulates around the world. The thumbtacks on the worldwide map indicate both past and present jobs performed by Navigator. Due to national security, the company cannot comment in regard to its projects in the Ukraine and Eastern Europe, but Navigator International is keeping a close eye on developments of the Russian invasion. Uh, the, the moving of embassy people out of the Ukraine into other areas of the world is a great example. We're in the you know, embassy renovation building business, so it does affect us here in the Wiregrass, here in this company. For a recently retired U.S. Army garrison commander who was last stationed in Eastern Europe, he says economic sanctions will have a direct impact as far as what Russia will do. When the company works on overseas projects, it often has its personnel supervising the work. The company hires local residents of the country to do the construction. But the uh, economic impact is definitely going to be a driving factor, and, and it, again, it does touch home. You know, there are businesses in the, lower, in the Wiregrass that do business throughout this area. Case in point, you uh, guys too. With our company, is just one of many. Sutterfield says economic sanctions by the U.S. along with Europe will have a dramatic impact on Russia's invasion. Reporting in Enterprise, Mike Spann, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.